what's up you guys? This is Low Key, and welcome back to Dream Daddy. Uh, last time we left off, um, we were here, but there were, there were more choices. Uh, but I, I loaded up the game, and there was like three more choices. But now there's just take a nap. I wasn't gonna go take a nap, I was gonna do, there was outside stuff, but... I guess I don't have a choice but to take a nap. I don't really care for naps. I want to be productive, but I guess we're going to take a nap. All this sunlight is making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. I bet. You slept for 14 hours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> LaserDisc is clearly the superior digital video format. Yeah. Who's old enough to remember laser discs? As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Who's that? Emilio, bro. Bro. <laughs> His voice. He said, bro. <laughs> I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. You know him? Craig? Oh. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> hmm. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Huh? It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. You have a baby. That baby looks terrified. <laughs> cleaned up his act. Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hey. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Hmm. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Her name's River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. <laughs> Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute. We're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers. And next, we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I had just moved to this side of town. How's all? Oh, how's Smashly doing? I heard about this character named Smashly. Um, <laughs> how's Smashly doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She actually still goes by Smashly, and, uh, we got divorced last year. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh. It's oldness. We take turns, uh, we take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? Twins? You have three kids? Jeez. Ain't life changing, bro? Right. Cake Stan Craig is a father of three. Cake Stan Craig? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of cake stands. <laughs> oh. It's that thing where you do handstand on a cake and then drink from the cake. Huh. Right. He was very good at it. Hmm. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep my heart rate up. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promise myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up about, <laughs> after 30 minutes and just walk home. Hmm? Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. You have uh, three whole babies. I don't like that. Hey! Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the... <laughs> I'm sorry. A bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Hmm. Yo, look at my mustache. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is 
ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy and then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. Yeah. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. <laughs> he's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting stuff up right, uh, putting stuff, my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't, don't say that. Huh? Aw, oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. <laughs> I'll come visit and I'll text you every day and I'll take lots of pictures. Yeah. I mean, obviously I'm a photography major. Yo! You guys, uh, that's my major. That's what I major in. That's cool. Uh, you promise? Uh. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yeah! A dog! Alright! For, uh, forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. <laughs> is, that, is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, my dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Come in the huh. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, <laughs> Amanda darts over to the envelopes and uh, shuffles through them. She pulls out one and throws the rest back on the floor. Yeah! This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! Huh? But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. <sighs> yeah, it's just like my entire feature. Not a big deal. Eh? She takes a deep breath and rip, a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Ooh. I hold my breath while Amanda, uh, Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah blah blah. Um, we. <sighs> her face drops. I regret to inform you that we are unable to offer your admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Uh. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. That's ass! Oh, sweetie. Uh. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't put it that, uh, have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. That's stupid. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is gonna wanna snatch you up for sure. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Mm. I'm fine, really. You're not fine. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Mm? Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Aww. Girl, you ain't said nothing about that. So. You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. You little shit. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight. So you'll have the new place to yourself. <laughs> yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Oh, shit. Uh, I am secretly the mayor of this town. <laughs> uh, gotta attend the union meeting. Uh, I'm going clubbing. Girl! <laughs> girl, I'm going clubbing. I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man, you know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. <laughs> Alright, but I'm not gonna uh, come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. But, I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Oh no. Stay home and finish unpacking, go to bed, go out and watch the game? <laughs> um, well, I can't stay home because she has to, 
I mean, actually, this is my house. Uh, I can do what I want. Um, go out and watch the game? Nice. Huh? Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the game on TV. It's somewhere other than here. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. <laughs> I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up on white collar crime, but this, but uh, by this point, maybe money laundering at the least. <laughs> I'm a street rat, pops. <laughs> you're getting about doing drugs and crime, right? Mm. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> Give her a pat on the head. <laughs> Have fun with your sports. Look, shut up. Are you being sarcastic? Oh. No, making fun of sports is played out. Oh. All right then. I do some light cleaning up around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Eh? Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Like from Street Fighter? Yep, totally remember. I'll be there. I hope they have a fun night. I'm really glad a man has such sweet friends, even if I can never remember their names. Just as I'm heading toward my room, the doorbell rings. Who is this? Huh. Let's see. Who could possibly need anything from me right now? Do you know what time it is? I was just about to head out. I walk up to the door and open it. Hello? Question marks. A handsome... Ah. This guy. I, uh, also too much don't care for this guy. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a, a plate of cookies. I don't like him. Oh, look at this frat douche. Hello? Huh, I don't, I don't know what voice to give him. I don't know whether to give him like a, a, you know, a snooty like, hi, um, or like, I know it's kind of, I know it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies and I just can't have these in the house or I'll eat them all. I, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna let his voice play out and see what it, what it sounds like. I'm doing ellipses. Dots. Let's yes. go. What is it? Joseph. Oh, where are my manners? <laughs> my name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi. I'm Emilio. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd do the neighborly thing and bring you some... My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. That's weird. But between you and me... She just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? <laughs> oh, I don't like you. Oh, oh, I don't like you. Amanda pokes her head out, uh, out of the room and um, immediately hones in on the cookies. You don't eat those cookies, Amanda. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Oh. He is a murderer. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. Oh. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come here. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <laughs> Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Yeah. <laughs> I have four kids. I hate him. What have you done? <laughs> Oh, um, I meant, hmm. don't worry, you mean, you didn't mean to be rude. No, I, I, I kind of meant it a little bit rude. Uh, oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey? Is the, is the missus around? Mister, actually. And, er, uh, you bet. What? Don't assume our gender roles. No, not anymore. He died. Yeah, uh, oh. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment. 
actually aware of how awkward we both made things. Huh? I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Uh, I look at Joseph qu uh, quizzically, that's a word, but comply. Um, after a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> God, that sounds awful. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Hey. Don't shake his hand. Well, neighbor, I'll let you uh, get to bed. See you at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Ugh, okay. Hey, in, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy if you ever need to talk about stuff. I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. I don't like that either. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Wink. You look pretty young to me, but uh, suit yourself. Oh, it's weird. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. Poison cookies, girl. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. Yeah. See? You're already fitting in great. Where those cookies go? Oh. They're gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Knew it! So you ate all of them anyway? The Emma's helped. Right, well, kiddo, I'm gonna go catch, uh, the game. Have fun, Dad! Practice makes permanent. Good advice. Well, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Uh, any game, really. In the distance. Could it be? Uh-oh. Jim and Kim's. A big burned-out neon sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I'll pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Oh, gross. Don't drink beer. Drink some liquor. Ah, uh, um, sure thing. Um, uh, no. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> The uh, bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. <laughs> now I really turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but it's currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. <laughs> the brightly colored mascot, which is some of uh, some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. <laughs> Jesus. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Uh... A middle-aged woman, yo, it's drunk wine, mom. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass, uh, siddles siddles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Hey. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. You come here often? Oh no, I actually just moved to this part of town day. I'm uh, Emilio, by the way. Bars! Ah. Uh. Uh. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh. Oh, I love that team. And also, I, I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Oh. Mm. Buy a girl a drink? Ah. Uh, really feel like I shouldn't be encouraging this. Uh, 
buy me a drink, don't buy me a drink. But, whatever, let's have some fun. Just, come on, get sauced up, Mary. Get sauced up. I almost reluctantly signal the bartender and order Mary um, another glass of wine. Neil jumps back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends and... I almost reluctantly signal the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company now. Hey. So what do you want to know? What's your deal? What do you think of the game? What's the latest gossip around here? Um, what's your deal? Mm -hmm. Me? I'm a ghost, Emilio. I haunt the hallowed halls of Jim and Kim's, waiting for my beloved to return from sea. <laughs> what are you? Really? No. Okay. <laughs> Homegirl just loves a drink. <laughs> so what else um, can you tell me about this part of town? Uh. It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want an idyllic... Um, little life with white picket fences, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know. She takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Oh. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh boy. <laughs> um, maybe some other time. I mean, I was here for it. They made me automatically answer though. Suit yourself, sailor. <laughs> Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close for what I'm comfortable with. After a particular skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the league, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Who is it? Go team! Oh boy, it's bad dad. Batty, walking in the building, he sits alone, brooding over a beer, and keeping an eye on the game. Enjoying the game? I, I am now that we're winning. I don't, I don't, I'm trying to do this, let's do a brooding. I want, I want him to have a Russian accent, or a German accent. I'm not sure though, I'm not sure if that's an okay thing. Um, oh. We must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win slash loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. I guess I'm turning him into Batman. He's Batman. Uh, the conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks. I'm Amelia. <laughs> you must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert chuckles. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? <laughs> no. That'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Hi. <laughs> Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. <sighs> whiskey fella or beer fella? Beer? No, I'm a whiskey fella. Why are you mandatorily drinking beer? Gross. Beer. But I'll drink most things. Mm -hmm. You like shots? I like shots. I love shots. Ooh, shots fired. I don't like them. <laughs> I love shots. God. <laughs> Hearts came out of his body. Robert nods to Neil. 
who serves up two shots of whiskey. His hands, he hands one to me. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what's, what making friends is. Okay, Emilio, this guy's out, uh, out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. <sighs> compliment his cool leather jacket. Compliment his rugged good looks. Compliment his hand tattoo. Is it hand tattoo? Oh yeah, there is a hand tattoo like right there. Uh, his cool leather jacket. I like your jacket. Thanks. Been in my family a long time. Passed down from firstborn to firstborn. Cursed, some would say. Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Hey. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicked me out of the house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. Uh, trying to make friends. I'm new in town. Figured it might be good to put myself out there. You seem pretty cool. Uh -huh. The key to being cool is acting like you don't care about anything, but actually care very deeply about everything to the point where it's debilitating. Really? Oh. That's really true. Uh, Robert downs the rest of his drink. Of course not. He gets up. Oh. Be right back. I got a powder in my nose. <laughs> Never seen Robert this talkative. He must lack you. <laughs> I don't know why Neil is like this southern uh, country folk. <laughs> I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like uh, like uh, that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? And on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this video right here. That sounds like it's going to be a good, good, wholesome time. So uh, until next time, this has been Loki playing Dream Daddy. Like and subscribe, please. We'll see you next time. Next clip. Next clip. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs>